when we get to talk to people face to face who we have heard from on the phones for over a decade it is the biggest treat of all and we have with us the wonderful caller who everybody knows as trucker steve live in the studio such an honor to have you here it's so lovely to actually see you face to face thank you very much blessings one and all yes. <laughs> here we go again. yes yes classic trucker steve let's chat a little bit about your life your past through the ups and the downs because i feel like everybody has a story and everyone has a journey that they are currently on which can sometimes be really tough crikey how far back do you want to go <laughs> you know <laughs> we moved over here in 2004 back then it was just the two boys my wife and then we had a daughter over here and then my eldest had an accident and he was in out of hospital with back problems mm. he's had two surgeries he got really depressed um, at that stage I was working pretty much seven days a week to support our family as well as him back then it was trying to survive seven days a week and I physically couldn't do it so mm. along came the happy drugs mm -hmm. um, to keep me awake while I worked mm. yep. um, some days you go to work at Monday and you wouldn't get home to Wednesday it was a, a dark part of my life as, as Everyone has their ups and downs, I suppose. Church is definitely out of bounds. We used to go. My mm -hmm. daughter would come along with me. She quizzed my wife on the creation, and there was a big argument. Just crossed her arms and goes, you just don't understand, Mum. So basically, it was either I stop going to church or we get a divorce. As a, as a non-believer, um, yeah, we have a lot of conflict. Yeah. Way back in the past with issues of you know, sexual abuse, mm. mental abuse, physical abuse, suicide attempts. Back then, I think it was about the late 80s, it was all taboo. Yeah, no one's More than anything, it. sort of all suppressed and all comes mm. to the surface. And, you know, you go, oh, I'll put my hand up and get help. Luckily, I found a nice Christian counsellor. To this day, God must have put in place. Or well, no, not must have, he did. Mm. Got the help I needed and back on the track. But, you know, now with, well, Christmas was a bit of a downer with my daughter, mm -hmm. um, diagnosed with anorexia. Um, my wife and I are struggling. She's a pre-believer. Mm -hmm. I'm a, well, I look at myself as a pretty solid believer. Mm -hmm. um, but the God, God and I always have arguments and disputes and he always <laughs> wins. How's your daughter now at the moment? Um, we have our good days and our bad days. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's still a nightmare. From a learning curve, from a, from a dad who just wants to click and fix things, mm. it's not an easy fix. We're lucky we caught it early. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but still, you just want to throw your arms around it and go, I'll fix this yeah. and it's just not that easy no. and that's what I struggle with sometimes mm -hmm. you know when you take her to hospital and she's got heart and kidney failures and stuff and you go right what do I do now yeah. you know and that's just that's just when I mean, what are we now February that was a Christmas time yeah mm -hmm. you know that's and sweet. it's like crikey dick it's just mm. it's just been a blur the last couple of months mm. a lot of people often ask Lucy and I like what is the radio station talking about when it talks about it changes lives, it saves lives, it's it's helping people through some of the toughest times in life. And what I love about having Steve on is even just the act of you speaking about your life openly and honestly like you do, mm. somebody's listening into this right now going, that's me. Mm. That's exactly what I'm going through right now. I thought I was the only one. I thought I was the only dad dealing with this, that, or the other. And the fact that you're brave enough to just come out and say, this is my life, this is what I've gone through. Mm. And also the fact that I love it when people have a faith, because there's a lot of people that listen to 89.9 The Light Loose that don't have a faith. Totally. And the spiritual side of life is a bit of a mystery to them. Mm. But then they can hear from you, Steve, and hear about all the real horrific stuff that we all go through mm. one way or another. And to still hold on to that faith and the ups and downs of dealing with that, you know, mm, yeah. holding on to it tightly at some moments and then wondering why it's even there in other moments. I would love for you, because I think what you've explained to us so far gives us better context for that moment when you switched on the light mm. and you heard that song on the radio. And what did that mean to you at that point? Because clearly you'd been through so much, you get to that point where the song is playing. And does it change your direction a little bit? Did it take a longer, was it, was it one moment that made all the difference? Was it an ongoing thing then? When I first came over in 2004, um, I was working for a small family company, do, it's doing massive hours, and I was feeling pretty down, mm. as you do, but, you know, bouncing from here to there. And then, yeah, just clicked on to Light FM. I think it was a song, um, and it just spoke to me. And then got around the roundabout, and just had goosebumps, and then just tears started rolling down my eyes, I had to wow. pull the truck over, and, and then I thought, well, while I'm here, I'll just do a wee prayer. So I pulled over and prayed, then 
didn't realize quarter hour had gone past. The first thing was hope. Mm. And when you get a physical reaction to a song, when you're listening to the words and you get goosebumps and you start crying, mm. you go, there's something in this. There's something in this. Yeah. For me, it wasn't a might. It was, I can get through this. Yeah. And then you hear what they're talking about and going, oh, I went through something similar, mm. you know, and hang on, they've come out of the side. And mm. yeah, so it was, it was just one of those aha moments. Wow. It, just, it was just so so physically moving as well oh goodness and then of course when i'm at home i'm always flicking the station to the itv if, yep. if, if everyone knows if you're in my car this is the station that's yeah. on yeah what does the world look like for trucker steve without the light in a nutshell i'd say i probably wouldn't be here yeah well wow. simple as that yeah you deal with bits and pieces but yeah. still you still get those gremlins or the hauntings that come back and you can't shut everything out you can't block everything out you know with light you know if you've got that in the background mm. Yeah, oh, there's hope. Yeah, there's grace. There's forgiveness, mm. and it's all there in one nutshell. Mm. It's just a no-brainer for me because yeah. mm. it just keeps you going, keeps me positive. Yeah, keeps me on the road. Look around your neighbourhood. Just go to the shops and see how many people are actually happy. Mm. You know, you're hard to see a smile these days, and you don't know what's going on in people's lives. I mean, you could pass me on the street. Mm. You've got no idea what I've been through in my past. Mm. Just look around and and so a bit of light so a bit of love and to keep this station on on air there's just some hope for someone like you mm. someone like me yep who can use it and benefit from it in great ways that you've got no idea mm. how life-changing moving saving mm. it can be just for maybe one song one phrase one top of the air um bible verse mm. Just little simple things that you guys put out on the radio that somebody can hear and just take hold of the two hands and move forward. <laughs> Quite obviously, we could talk to Steve for the next three and a half hours. <laughs> yes. And we'd only scratch the surface. But Steve, yeah. I want to thank you personally for making the way into the studios here at The Light. You're welcome. Uh, thanks for being so open and honest about what you're going through. And they can, when a trucker comes in and this sits is my down life. <laughs> and just says, this is what I've dealt with. And a radio station played a moment. There was a moment in life when a radio station stopped me in my tracks and set me in a right direction, giving me hope, knowing that there would be that light at the end of the tunnel. When you hear a positive, uplifting song on the radio, when you hear Focus on the Family on the light, when you hear mm. Luke and Susie in the afternoons or Lucy and Kel for breakfast, a word to live by, like you said, Steve, think of Steve because he's one of the reasons yeah. that you get all of that. When your song comes on the air mm. and it stops you in your tracks mm. and it sets you on the right path, then thanks to people like Steve. That's right. And we all need it. We all need it. And much like he does when he first picks up that phone and calls us on the light, is there anything you'd like to say to Melbourne <laughs> listening in this morning? Blessings to one and all.